morning stampers I'm Meg from love and stamps with our 60th episode of the love and stamp studio tour so welcome to my studio and today I am uh, going to show you uh, we're gonna open up my paper pumpkin box so woo, as I throw parts of it on the floor um, anyway we're gonna open up our paper pumpkin box and do a uh, project from the kit and then also an alternate project so um, just to introduce if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin why is it backwards? Oh, it's not backwards, it's upside down because the box is upside down. Okay, if I turn it upside down, everything will fall off. Apparently I need more coffee. I don't think it's sunk in yet. Um, morning, Trish. Okay, so back to Paper Pumpkin. If you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it is uh, one of my favorite things from Stampin' Up. It is a subscription box and for uh, $21, it comes in the mail. Um, each month and everything that you need to make a set of projects is included in here. So uh, the ink is included, the paper, the embellishments, the directions, all the good stuff. Um, yes, Sue, send coffee. <laughs> uh, just kidding, you don't have to send coffee. Uh, but um, it, it's a great thing. It's a fun chance to take a break and just take it out and craft. If you know someone who um, could use a break in their life, just a little chance to relax. Paper Pumpkin is a great gift and you can get gift subscriptions on my website too. So um, basically the way you would do that is you would get a prepaid subscription and then you would get a little gift certificate printable um, when you buy it and then you can go ahead and send it. So if you are if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, leave a comment and say hey. Um, if you've subscribed in the past, you can always, you know it's easy to cancel or suspend your subscription or get two boxes if you're really excited about the next one. Um, it, it's a really easy system to manage. And you can do two ways to um, get your paper function. One is to just put your credit card or debit card on it and then it just charges each month. Um, as long as your card is all set by the 10th, you don't have to put it in each month, but if your number changes or something, um, you put it in and on the 10th, then they say, oh yes, um, Meg wants to get another paper pumpkin and, and so forth. Or you can buy prepaid subscriptions for paper pumpkin and they come in one, three, six, and 12 month chunks. And you are gonna wanna do that. Um, even if you have like your credit card on it, you want a prepaid subscription um, going forward once celebration starts on January 5th. And I'll tell you more about that. So, okay, enough talking. Morning, Kay. Okay, all right, so our paper pumpkin, here it is. Oh, goodness. Sorry, you're not tall enough for me to see what's going on there. Okay, so we have our paper pumpkin box here um, with all of the fabulousness included. So let's kind of take a quick gander at it. If you've already gotten your box this month, I hope you've opened it and found some fun things to do, but here are our directions. And those are the cards that are recommended to go with the box. You can, of course, make them or do anything you like. Um, here's our ink, we got Rich Razzleberry. This is a great way to build up your um, your supply of inks. So if you have a big stamp with this tiny stamp and spot, then you just turn your stamp up and um, ink it this direction rather than trying to ink it like this. Does that make sense? Um, so much easier. Um, okay, so we have our ink spot, we have our stamp set, which says you're on my mind, hooray, and get all soon, and then our cute bear, so we're gonna use him. Um, then we have our sheets of animals that go with our cards. We have stamp and dimensionals, which I love. Um, the envelopes here are included and they almost always have fun liner colors, so that's kind of fun. Um, then we have our card bases for the cards. Oh, some layering elements, um, more card bases, more card bases and layering elements. Oh, and our labels and, oh, the fun things um, that our bears can hold. So, uh, yay, okay, <laughs> no pressure, right, Katie? Okay, so this is a little bit of reality crafting because I haven't made either, you can see, um, the card from Paper Pumpkin yet or my alternate, but it will be fun, I am quite certain, so. All right, so I did pull some pieces out though and I think we're gonna make our little koala card. So here is um, our guys. Oh my gosh, I just saw this. Okay, so also underneath um, here are little uh, punch out parts for their little hannies. So I was excited to see that they're together on one piece. So you don't have to work hard to attach them. Um, but then you also don't have to um, work hard to get their hands to hold something. So let's see, we'll do um, a cupcake. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this a get well card. I have some cards that I need to send. So ooh, I'm branching out from the, uh, 
from the things here. Let's see, does our heart fit in there? Oh yeah, look at, oh my gosh, look at how cute. It's like some awesome person designed this kit, so thank you Stampin' Up. All right, our card base is just going to fold in half. I love they're printed on both sides, white in the middle, so you don't have to add extra layers um, if you don't want to. I have, a, for our directions, uh, little directions here, um, I have the circle. Now let's be clear, who's looking at the actual instructions? Uh, not me. Um, there are actual instructions, they're loose, but I just like to look at the pictures, so. All right, and then I'll take my Stampin' Dimensionals and pop these up here. So um, you can see that if you weren't yakking like me, um, you would be able to uh, make these cards pretty quickly. Now, what if you're looking at this and you're like, oh Meg, I love those cards. I didn't think I would and I don't have a paper pumpkin subscription. Okay, all is not lost, okay? Because you can get, um, you can get paper pumpkin refill kits while they are available. I'm gonna pop up our little koalas on dimensionals too. And I guess I'll put a dimensional underneath his heart, uh, heart. Actually, that's a dual purpose dimensional here, I'll show you. It's holding the heart in and it's going to pop it up. Okay, so back to your sadness because you don't have this paper pumpkin kit. So you can get refills. A refill for paper pumpkin includes uh, the, he needs to go up here so I can fit my greeting underneath there, includes all of the paper pieces. So it includes all of these pieces here. Um, so you would get all of this, which for this particular kit is really great. Yes, the stamp set's great, but you could add greetings to it. So if you didn't subscribe to Paper Pumpkin during the month of December, right now this refill is available. Now, little, um, little asterisk on that. I just realized that the gold foil on this is really beautiful. Okay, um, the little asterisk is that you cannot get refills for Paper Pumpkin kits unless you are a subscriber. So what you can do is go subscribe to Paper Pumpkin on my website. Um, since you know that you're going to want to get celebration kits, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. Here's my little note. If you were reading it upside down, you probably saw that. Um, if you were going to sign up and get more kits, you would want to get your prepaid, but just put your credit card on it for now, sign up so that when you go to my online store, then you'll log in and it'll say, oh, yay, thank you so much for signing up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber with Megs. Yes, you can order refills. And then you can get this refill for all these pieces, which includes the cards and envelopes and pieces for 12 cards, it's $10. So it's a really good deal. Um, and if you're having trouble putting it in your shopping cart in my online store, that's why. So um, I put a link in the description to sign up as a Paper Pumpkin subscriber and you can learn more about it there on my website. Okay, all right, okay, we need a greeting. So here's a tip um, that I've learned from making many paper pumpkins over the year. Uh, I'm going to pick a size for my, I think one of these guys is, is a good size. Um, and I don't usually use my spots because I have big ink pads. Uh, <clears throat> I don't take the pieces out of my paper, okay? Um, if that makes sense. I don't remove the greeting slips from the larger sheet because I think it's easier to line them up when I have that whole sheet there to kind of balance. So, all right, I'm going to do this upside down to you and right side up to me. There we go, okay. So now we have our get well soon. Now one note about Paper Pumpkin, um, the cardstock that's in these is not Whisper White, um, which means you just need to give it a second, okay? It doesn't dry as instantly as Whisper White does. Speaking of Whisper White, um, the paper mill that in, has made uh, Whisper White cardstock for Stampin' Up! in the United States for years um, has closed, and we're very sad, um, but um, Whisper White cardstock is not available at the moment. So um, we'll talk in the next couple, until they get a new vendor, we'll talk, um, I'll give you some ideas for how to stamp without Whisper White cardstock. Believe me, it, it'll, it'll still work. Anyway, just give it some time to dry. So we're just gonna take this and we're going to pop this up here under our little koala butts and there's our card. Okay, if this does not inspire you to run to the Paper Pumpkin website and sign up, um, if you go to paperpumpkin.com, make sure you pick me, uh, Meg Lovin from Illinois, as your demonstrator. Um, and then, uh, or you can just use the link in the description and you can go that way. So, all right, so what is our alternate project? So yes, you could make a whole bunch just like this, but what if you want to do something different with your kit? Or what if when the kit comes, it's like, 
boxes or something and you don't use boxes. So that's what I did last month um, when we had our gingerbread uh, paper pumpkin kit. Let's see, I think I gave away all my little, um, all my little alternate projects for the most part. But last month was supposed to be um, gift card holders and we made alternate projects as part of um, one of our video, one of my um, holiday helper videos. So what if you don't want to make the project that's in there? So what I always say, first of all, if you, absolutely despise your paper pumpkin like you get this and you have a like diagnosed psychiatric phobia of koala bears um okay that's totally fine stampin up will make it right don't worry um let me know so but usually what i find is when i open the kits um there is always something fun to do with them so um look to me for alternate ideas look on pinterest look on um just a zillion ideas out there so um it might not appear at first glance to be totally your style, but I'm sure you can come up with some fun ways to use it. And um, I, I'm, I'm certain that you'll have a good time with them. And the quality of the materials is always great. It's a great way to build your ink supplies. Uh, okay, let's, let's move on. So the thing that was included with this, which is what I threw on the floor earlier, was a little slip that said, um, Stampin' Up! started putting these little flyers in with the paper pumpkin boxes. And this one said, hey, if you want more color with your kit, think about this. And there's an Artistry Bloom Sweet Collection, which is recommended here. So I thought, oh, that's fun. Oh, I just saw the sequence. I might have to pull those out. I have Artistry Bloom paper. So let's take this out. And I thought, oh, look, with our bear set, that is going to be fabulous. How happy. Those colors are just happy. So here's some more of that Artistry Bloom's paper. Oops. Um, but I picked a piece of it here and I cut this to be a DSP card base, which is one of my passions. So it's just a four by 11 or four by 12 piece of paper. And I scored it at five and a half and at 11 so that it folds in half. And then this front piece here just folds back like that. And then I'm going to take a strip of, um, oh my goodness. looking for my adhesive, there it goes, sorry. Um, a strip of the daffodil cardstock because I think we're gonna go with e, a daffodil color here. I'm going to sort of test fold this down so that I can get my paper straight. Then I'm going to take my snips and trim this, okay? I don't know how I, oh yeah, pretty good on straight. Okay, not so good on the trimming, I have to redo that. Uh, okay, so now what we've done is we have kind of strengthened the front of our card um, because the DSP designer series paper is not as strong as the regular card stock. So uh, this is a nice way to strengthen this. And then of course we have a piece we're gonna put in the middle. This one is cut to five inches by three inches. Is that right? Five by three and a half. Five by three and a half that's gonna go in here. So, all right, so what's next? We're gonna take our bear and we're gonna stick with Rich Razzleberry, I guess, because that's the color that was here so hmm no nah, I think we're not gonna stick with Rich Razzleberry I think I'm gonna get a different one I think I am going to try oh well, see this is what I get for reality crafting I don't know I don't know I'm gonna go with Melon Mambo it's one shade oranger than what I am going to do with my blends and I have my daffodil and pumpkin blends and a little bit of soft suede in case I decide our bear needs some berry colors and oh Trish thank you very much I'm I'm glad you're having fun uh, I will tell you it's a little you know panic inducing sometimes but oh well you know we're all in this together right oh speaking of all in this together I actually wanted to ask you guys um I that's a great tip oh yeah I'm glad you like that Katie um, I actually wanted to ask you guys, so I'm trying out new names for my um, morning videos because holiday helpers kind of, I guess I'm going to have to give up on the holidays here. Um, it's, so that one's a little past and I'm not really doing like the studio tours like I was at the beginning. So I don't know about still calling it that. Um, I was thinking about, let me try this out on you and see what you think. Uh, make it mornings with Meg. So. What do you think? Make it mornings with Meg. So leave me a comment if you think that's a great idea or if you think, um, no Meg, that is not a good idea. Let's come up with something else. So I feel like the hive mind of all my, you guys, great um, viewers will be super helpful in sorting that out. So, 
Okay, in the meantime, I have a stitched um, framelit piece here that I've cut. So Stitch Shapes dies, which I told you just recently, I think, are my absolute most used favorite. And there's our cute bear. So he is, um, yeah, morning get together, Sandy, I, it's true. Like it's not, you know, just about, I mean, it is kind of a morning gathering. I don't know, morning coffee? I don't wanna exclude tea drinkers. Uh, mm, mm. Anyway, okay, we'll keep working on it. So now I'm gonna take my um, Daffodil Delight marker here. I've never colored this bear, so hopefully he'll be good. I was worried that he might be kind of Pooh Bear looking, but then I thought, no, I like Pooh Bear, so what's wrong with that? So I am coloring. When you color um, with a blend, your strokes may show. So remember to keep your stroke lines in, um, in the shape of the image. So like as I'm going around his tummy, I'm coloring in a circle shape. Like I don't wanna just go back and forth like this because then if that stroke line shows, then that is going to um, that is going to come back. Okay, you guys are leaving lots of comments, which I totally appreciate, but I might have to um, check them after I get done coloring because I can't really color and um, and do talk. I can't color and think about names at the same time. Okay, so I am giving him some edge outlines here and like where his arms cross over is gonna be darker. Um, the other thing that honestly might make sense is to look at the ones that Stampin' Up! did and see if they can give you any cues. Oh, yeah, okay, do you see how there's little dark lines um, kind of at his shoulders here and at his feet and like around his ears? So you can use that also as help for um, where you're coloring um, darker should be. And I know that the, these are really stark contrasts here, um, but it'll be okay. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be okay. Um, and I'll show you why. So let's see, I think we're gonna give him a little orange tint in his uh, ears here, just to give a little bit of difference. So I'm gonna take my, my pumpkin light and kind of color this. And remember, these are the colors that I'm trying to match here. So I don't wanna do it right on top because remember Stampin' Blends go through. That's part of um, Mornings with Meg. I kind of like that. Yeah, Lana says too, Mornings with Meg. Uh, maybe the make it is, I don't know. I was trying to get the crafting element in there. Any brilliant ideas on how to like emphasize crafting? N not that I'm, you know, I mean, I like just doing mornings. Okay, so I'm adding just a little orange so it's just not quite as flat. And then I'm gonna go back with my light and I'm gonna blend those intersections. So I'm just going back over the place where it goes from light to dark, okay? Kind of see how that's working here. Hey, it's pretty, pretty nice. For reality crafting, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> All right, if you find that the colors aren't blending, just keep going. So basically what you're doing is you're adding solvent, you're adding alcohol to the paper, which helps those colors mush a little bit better. That's the technical term. Right, my friend Katie, who's actually an artist here. Mush is the technical color, right? Back me up on that, okay. So there we have our mushed colors. We'll give him a little bit of dimension here on his head. Okay, all right, and then his tummy, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do there. Maybe we'll just go with, let's see. We haven't used our, our crumb cake yet. Okay, here he goes. We're making it, we're making it pumpkin. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, remember? You want your line, your stroke lines to kind of mimic the shape. Somebody taught me once, um, I think at a Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, convention, that you you make your color lines in the direction of growth. So like if there's a leaf or something, you want your um, stroke lines to, this is gonna be really strong, so I'm gonna put a teeny bit on here. And then under his paws is gonna be a shadow. Uh, Anyway, you want your stroke lines to go in the direction of growth. So like as your as a leaf grows out, you're gonna move out towards the tip or, or things like that, so, okay. All right, and honestly, most of this is gonna get covered up, so hey, he's kinda cute that way. Um, I think he needs a little bit of shading. I'm gonna use my bullet tip here. Mush, thank you, thank you. All right. There we go. Okay, all right, I'm kinda, I'm kinda happy with our bear. Now, um, actually, I can't even close this. There we go. Um, he is a little bit floaty, and my friend Rayanne sent me a message this weekend 
um, about that. And she said, hey, how do you make the, how do you make things not float? Like what's the right way to do that? So I'm gonna go back and forth blue. I think I'm not gonna bring blue in. I think I'm gonna stick with the tans. And so what I have here is my um, light crumb cake marker. And instead of having him just be like so, um, so stark there in the middle of our paper. I want him to blend into the background a little bit. So I'm gonna take my crumb cake, let's see, yep. And I am going to go around the edge of our bear. And let's see, maybe I'll do like the left half and the right half so you can kind of see the difference. Okay, and then I'll just blend it out just a little bit. Remember, you want your stroke lines to be fluid okay Let's see actually I'm gonna do it this way okay all right see the difference there between the left and the right side so this side he's like a bear sticking um, on the paper just sort of hanging out there on this side he's a bear like in a scene right that is like existing in a place so I'm going to um, do the same thing here. Hold on, I'm not so hot at coloring completely upside down, and I just told you. So now my stroke lines, because I want them to sort of blend into the background, I'm gonna make them kind of go out there so that they're headed out towards the background and in sort of a left-right kind of thing. Okay, all right, so there we have our bear who now has a background to him, and we are going to add a greeting because uh, we want to. And I counted, there's lots of extra greetings on here, and I am going to, ooh, you know, I hadn't thought about this, but I kind of like the circle idea because it mimics our other circle, and we could set him up kind of like this. Let's see, left or right. So what I want to avoid doing is centering either our bear or our greeting because that, it's kind of off balances the card. Um, so when you're working with your, your layouts, I always kind of think in thirds. So I want the, the bulk of our card to be on the third. So he's good, but then I have the circle right here in the center and that's sort of like, ah, it forces you to look there so that you're not able to view the whole project. Okay, I know this is like woo woo for a morning, but it's not Monday, it's Wednesday. So <laughs> um, trust me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over here so that we have our bulk here centered um, kind of on our third rather than like right there in the center, okay? All right, so I have our guy there and now I'm gonna bring back the Razzleberry because I want our greeting to be here and this um, stamp set has a um, greeting that says, you are on my mind, which I think is super fabulous. And I have, <laughs> I have blueberries mounted on here. Let me take those away. I've been working on some other projects. <laughs> um, they are actually, that blueberry set is a celebration set and reminds me to tell you um, that celebration is coming soon. Um, and here's the, here's the rest of that blueberry set, sneak peek. Um, the uh, celebration items that you can get with your paper pumpkin subscription. So, um, Let's see, I wrote down like a little scratch thing here. Um, here are <laughs> a one month subscription prepaid is $21, which is a great way to just test it out or do a gift. A three month subscription is $63, which is really great because you get da -da 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 -da, a free celebration item. Um, so basically in this case, you get a code and you go to my website, paperpumpkin.com and you type in the code and then you are going to um, get three months of, next three months of Paper Pumpkin. Um, six month is $114 and a 12 month is 220. So for a six month, you would get two celebration items or one of the hundred items. And in 12 month, you get four celebration items. So this is a really, really great um, way to um, get your Paper Pumpkin and get some free things along with it. So if you have questions about Paper Pumpkin subscriptions, let me know. All right, so we have our bear here. We have our um, greeting here. I have my Stampin' Dimensionals because there's a lot more um, in this kit so that I'm gonna need for just these bear um, and koala cards that are included. And if you're just tuning in um, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, uh, I love that first card that Meg did. Remember, you can get your um, paper pumpkin refill uh, 
on my website. I'm gonna put this down here because I don't really want it to be up super high, so I'm gonna pop that on so that I know my dimensionals won't overlap. Okay, so we have our good start on things here and then we need to um, add some embellishments. And from the little flyer included, I forgot, but I'm pretty sure I have these sequins. So let me take a quick look here. Uh, let's see, do I have them? Looking through my drawer. Oh, what's this? Look, look I do. And I haven't even opened them yet, so yay for this. Okay, so these are the Artistry Blooms um, adhesive back sequins, and I am a big sequin fan, but when they have adhesive backs, man, that's just the icing on the cake for me. So I'm going to pop this off. I'm not totally destroying the package because I want to keep them in here. Usually I take a clear envelope then and put the package together and just stick it back into a clear envelope so that they stay safe. Um, all right, so look at all the fun colors. Let's see what goes, oh, Ooh, orange or pink, orange or pink, orange, maybe a little bit of both. Gosh, these are pretty gorgeous. So, um, nah, maybe not both. That's a little crazy talk here. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna throw some on because I haven't thought about it too much. Um, so usually I try to do groups of three and yeah, he's kind of cute. Maybe I'll put, I changed my mind. It needs, needs some orange because it matches our bear friend. Let's see, one. All right, so, but then I have to do um, just like five and I want them to be not lined up, but a little bit um, sort of off uh, base. There we go. So they're not like lined up like little soldiers in a row or whatever, okay? So your eye will travel around and take in all the different fun parts of the card. Okay. So that is our card front, and then inside we, of course, need something. So I'm going to um, just stamp a little bear here, peeking up from the bottom. Uh, and then I'm going to pop some adhesive on the back. And I'm gonna put more adhesive on this card back than I usually do, because remember, it's helping to support our card. So it's giving extra stability to our designer series paper card base, okay? All right, so there is our card. Um, all right, so very fun ideas. Um, <laughs> I'll bring you back up here. So I hope that you guys are kind of excited about uh, Paper Pumpkin. The kit for next month is, um, let's see, it's been announced. It is cards. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that one out. Um, but it is cards also. And then there is like a refill that you can buy beforehand, I think. Um, one of the things I love about Paper Pumpkin is just you never know exactly what it's gonna be, but it's always great and it's always fun to put together. So uh, so we have our card that is directly from Paper Pumpkin Ideas, which I think is pretty darn cute. I had, uh, sorry, wasn't necessarily my jam, but now that I've put one together, I think I'm gonna do the rest of them. And then we have our alternate card uh, with our fun yellow Stampin' Blends bear and a um, You're On My Mind. He totally could be like a Pooh Bear. If you gave him like a little red Stampin' Blends shirt, I think he'd be kind of fun. So, all right. I think, let me check my notes and make sure I told you everything I wanted to tell you. Um, two ways to subscribe, either by credit card or with a prepaid code but you probably wanna wait until um, January 5th to get your prepaid code because then you get your celebration stuff with it. Um, but you can go ahead and subscribe now um, so that you can get the Paper Pumpkin refill for these cards if you want to get that. Um, there, I think there are three refills available right now, so they're each $10. There's some really um, good projects. The Gingerbread's there, uh, these guys, and then there's one other. And then, oh, okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, which goes great with this idea. So when I had my bear, um, Reality Crafting Rise, right, kind of made it up as we went along, and I grabbed the paper ahead, but other than that, we put it mostly together. Um, so when I grabbed the stamp set to do my Reality Crafting, uh, which is kind of what we all do every day, <laughs> um, I decided that I wanted to layer some designer series paper. So. Coming up in the new uh, catalog, uh, which starts on January 5th, there are eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
I'm looking at this here, um, eight different new designer series papers. And it is always hard to decide which ones to get first. Um, and so I'm going to make it easy for you guys. I am going to do a paper share and I very much believe in that you guys will, um, that you guys will want to um, use what you get rather than having it sit in a drawer and, and then you're like, oh, why did I get that? I didn't, I'm not using it. Um, Trish, I will send you a message about your account. I'm sure we can get it sorted out. So to use what you're getting, um, I'm gonna make it easy for you by including cardstock with um, the, the paper share. So um, I will, let's see, I'll, I'll fold this down here so you guys can see again. Um, I thought we were done, right? But so uh, what we have is we have a sheet of each of the papers. So you're gonna get all the papers from the package. This is Fine Art Floral. And ta-da, ta-da. So you'll get all of those. They're four by six pieces, which means they're perfect because I'm going to include six pieces of matching cardstock in the colors um, that match with that set. So here we have a perfect fit um, for these papers. And so what would be really easy to do is just fold your card in half and add a layer, just trim it down. And then of course use the back of the paper as a little accent piece. But then this is gonna give you um, basically six cards. So you're not only getting a paper share, like a, you know, that's what we call them, um, but you're also getting a set of coordinating cards to go with them. So uh, watch for details on this later today. If you are um, an email subscriber, um, you can subscribe if you go to my website at lovenstamps.com. Um, you can subscribe if you're not already, uh, but I'm gonna send email out with sign up for this and it will be a limited time sign up until um, January 4th. So don't miss this because basically I have to get everybody signed up before I order the papers for them. So um, let's see, I'll, I'll show you the other ones just for kicks since we're all hanging out. Um, this is the Love, Love, Mm, true love, love always, something like that. Um, the black and white paper, which I'm always excited to see and often appears in this catalog. And these sides are super non-floral, which I love. This one is floral, which are also great. And you get black and white paper with this. And uh, the other reason to sign up for the paper share as soon as possible is I'll kind of do it in order of, um, in order of signups, if something becomes unavailable, I will substitute from the annual catalog, but um, hopefully the papers will all be available in a reasonable amount of time. So this is Hydrangea Hill, and I love this one. This is gonna make a really pretty card. And the backs look like this. And here is the matching card stock for these. So, so pretty here. Okay, I'm gonna get these all mixed up. This is the snail paper, so cardstock and the matching snails. Um, snail mail is probably one of my favorite uh, papers here in the in the kit. So it's got these cute snails. Look at they're delivering the mail. I know we all appreciate our mail people right now. And then um, on the backs are a little bit more neutrally papers. So um, love the little word bubbles. Okay, trying not to mix these. This one is so sweet, ice cream corner. Get it? Do you see what I did there? Sweet, ha 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 ha. Um, which has a variety of papers. I love um, that these papers are gonna come with your paper share because they will make it easy for you to actually make cards with the pieces. And then um, as we always say, when you see the papers in person, they're so much prettier than they were in the catalog. Raise your hand if you've ever said that. Um, and then some confetti papers on the back. Uh, if you've ever said that, you can raise your virtual hand um, because this will give you a chance to know which papers you truly love and want to um, get full packages of. So, all right, so there's the sea, sand and sea, sea and sand uh, papers, which have these amazing watercolors. So these are actually painted by an artist and then photographed to make the designer series paper. So really pretty there. And then uh, more patterns on the backs. Um, let's see, next is, oh, the, the guy's uh, suite, uh, well suited. And these papers are wonderful patterns um, for all kinds of things, but they especially match the dyes um, that you will um, want to have if you are interested in making a bunch of die cards. There are so many like hacks for this stamp set um, already. 
uh, for doing like scrubs and all kinds of things. So it's definitely not just a suited uh, suit kind of thing, but these materials are definitely pretty for, uh, definitely pretty for doing um, like shirt and suit cards. And then finally I have the um, dragonfly one. And this one, you're actually gonna get 12 papers because there are 12 different designs in here. So you will have all of the designs for um, the papers in the um, catalogs uh, here when it, with the paper share. And there's the backs. And then you'll get 12 sheets of the paper to coordinate with all of those. So, all right, okay. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot of paper. So watch for details for that later today because you'll want to get signed up for that. There'll be a PayPal link. Um, if you have trouble with it, let me know, um, but you can just go ahead and sign up for that. So, all right, guys, I think, I checked my notes. That is everything I was gonna tell you about today. So again, thanks for tuning in for our bear card. And I will not see you tomorrow because this week between Christmas and New Year's, I am taking off on Tuesday and Thursday, but I will be back on Friday, which is next year right is today the 30th oh my gosh so i won't see you guys till next year <laughs> i know um <laughs> not very funny but thanks for laughing anyway so i'll see you guys next year which is actually just friday so two days from now and uh yeah thank you so much for tuning in in this uh year and i look forward to sharing many many more projects with you next year so Hey, thanks guys. And I can't wait to read the comments and see what you thought for the, um, see what you thought for the names. So mornings with Meg, Meg, anyway, I'll check them all out. Happy stamping guys. Have a great day.